What's up, YouTube? I'm Darren Edward, and I haven't showered in a week. Okay, full disclosure, we have baby wipes stashed all over this apartment. So yeah, I'm doing a little bit of spot cleaning. I'm not a total savage. And I know, I know, baby wipes aren't really environmentally friendly, but I offset my environmental impact by buying carbon credits. But baby wipes aren't gonna take care of my hair situation, so what's my plan? Aveda Shampure Dry Shampoo. I've tried a lot of other dry shampoos because Aveda took its sweet time developing one, but I have to say, this one is my favorite. In order to tell you why, we need to talk about some of the differences between Aveda's dry shampoo and other ones on the market. But first, be sure to subscribe, and if you like this video, please share it with someone you love, somebody with dirty hair that you love. The main benefits of dry shampoo is that they deodorize and absorb oil to make your hair look and smell freshly washed. And usually, the main ingredient that's doing the work in a dry shampoo is some sort of plant-based starch. Corn starch, rice bran starch. Dry shampoos tend to come in one of two forms, either a powder or an aerosol. The powder-based products tend to use some sort of tip applicator that just shoots a stream of powder out and becomes really hard to distribute. And the aerosols work a little bit more like a hairspray to distribute, but they have a lot more going on in the ingredients department. Let me show you what I mean. In the case of Champure Dry Shampoo, we are mainly working with cornstarch, montmorillonite, which is a naturally occurring clay, very soothing to the scalp, tapioca starch, and oat kernel flour. Beyond that, we have fragrance, phthalate free by the way and some of the usual organic compounds that go along with the essential oils that make up that fragrance now let's look at the ingredients of a popular aerosol dry shampoo and compare the first three listed ingredients before we even get to the starch are butane, isobutane, and propane. I'm sure those ingredients are really helpful if you're that guy that cuts hair with a blowtorch, but those ingredients are your delivery system, which means that your aerosol dry shampoos actually contain very little of the active ingredient that's making your hair look and smell better. They also tend to have way more fragrance to them, so you're really committing to smelling like that until you wash your hair again. And much like hairspray, they tend to leave your hair feeling like hairspray. Most of the competing powder-based dry shampoos are similarly simple with their ingredients, but again, hard to distribute through the hair. So how does Aveda address this situation? Well, they figured out how to have the best of both worlds. Simple ingredients, but with a mechanical delivery system that mimics an aerosol without having all of the extra gunk that goes along with it. And if I do end up with too much dry shampoo in one spot, I'm just gonna use a boar bristle brush See the difference? Ooh, this, look, this looks nice. Let's say not so much. I look, feel, and smell like a human being again. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.